The sign of intelligence is that you are constantly wondering. Idiots are always dead sure about every damn thing they are doing in their life. The most beautiful moments in life are moments when you are expressing your joy, not when you are seeking it. If you resist change, you resist life. If you ask a tree how he feels to know that he's spreading his fragrance and making people happy, I don't think a tree looks at it that way. I am just like that, and it is just my nature to be like this. When pain, misery, or anger happen, it is time to look within you, not around you. Too many people are hungry not because there is dearth of food. It is because there is dearth of love and care in human hearts. The fear is simply because you are not living with life, you are living in your mind. Love is your quality. Love is not what you do. Love is what you are. If you think you are big, you become small. If you know you are nothing, you become unlimited. That's the beauty of being a human being. People have fallen in love with words and lost the world. It's time to regain it. Sex in the body is fine. Money in the wallet is fine. It is only a problem when they enter your mind. Learning to listen is the essence of intelligent living. When I say spiritual, I am talking about you beginning to experience that which is not physical. Once this spiritual dimension is alive, once you start experiencing yourself beyond the limitations of the physical and the mental, only then there's no such thing as fear. Fear is just the creation of an overactive and out of control mind. The whole effort of the spiritual process is to break the boundaries you have drawn for yourself and experience the immensity that you are. The aim is to unshackle yourself from the limited identity you have forged, as a result of your own ignorance, and live the way the Creator made you, utterly blissful and infinitely responsible. If you think 100% logically, there is really no possibility of life. You have too much social influence upon you. You are not going by your own nature. People do so many nonsensical life negative things because they don't want to be left out of the scene around them. There is so much adventure that only a youth can experience. Youth is not the time to languish in pleasure, youth is the time for exploration and adventure. The quality of your life depends on how well you manage your body, your mind, your emotion, your situations, your home, your communities, nations, your life in general and the world. Mind is not in any one place. Every cell in this body has its own intelligence. The brain is sitting in your head, but mind is all over the place. Unless you do the right things, the right things will not happen to you. Confidence and stupidity are a very dangerous combination, but they generally go together. The only thing that stands between you and your well-being is a simple fact, you have allowed your thoughts and emotions to take instruction from the outside rather than the inside. Yogis are not against pleasure. It is just that they are unwilling to settle for little pleasures. They are greedy. It is our compulsive reaction to the situations in which we are placed that causes stress. Reactivity is enslavement. Responsibility is freedom. Money is definitely needed, but how much money do we really need? If we would change our idea of a successful life to a joyful life, we would find our need for money would dramatically decrease. The most incredible thing is that you can know everything you wish to know with your eyes closed. Death is a fiction created by people who live their lives in total unawareness. There is only life, life and life alone, moving from one dimension to another, another dimension to another. The logic is simple, if you do the right things, the right things will happen to you even without your intent. Your life is just about craving, and making something else tremendously more important than you. The spiritual journey is a journey towards clarity, but never towards certainty. When you draw conclusions about beginnings and endings, you are a believer. When you accept that you really do not know anything, you become a seeker. Nothing has ever been out of place in this existence. Things have been out of place in human societies. An intellectual understanding that is not backed by experiential knowledge can lead to mind games and deceptive states. The man who does only as much as is needed will only get that much. 
Sunlight comes into your house not because you want it. It happens because you open the windows. Most people are investing their whole lifetime just for their material well-being. Dying to live, this is called. But when it comes to the inner situation, there is only one ingredient, you. At least you must happen the way you want. If you handle your entire life with logic alone, you will end up a mess. To rise above the modifications of your mind, when you cease your mind, when you cease to be a part of your mind, that is yoga. Today people just go on working, working and working. Not because they are creating something fantastic, but simply because they have to work, otherwise they don't know what to do with themselves. Mysticism is like pure science, it has no use. Mysticism is just the human longing to know. A cult is not science. A cult is just technology. I learned to create a little more space between my thoughts and actions, actually between my feelings and reactions. This is extremely important, without it, life can be a real roller coaster ride. Our lives become beautiful not because of what we do, our lives becomes beautiful simply because we have included everybody around us as a part of our dream of well-being. In the Indian culture you never told your parents, your wife, your husband or your children, I love you. This was not a part of this culture because the moment you say it, it's almost like it's not there. You're only trying to assert it. Love is not an assertion. Love is a supplication. An asserting mind can never be a loving mind. Eating natural foods, in their uncooked condition, when the cells are still alive, will bring an enormous sense of health and vitality to the system. What is happening within you and how you experience your life is entirely your making, your karma. The path is not difficult. It is very simple. If you are simple, it's very simple. If you are all wound up, the path is very, very winding. That's all it is. Pain or pleasure, joy or misery, agony or ecstasy, happens only inside you. Human folly is that people are always trying to extract joy from the outside. You may use the outside as a stimulus or trigger, but the real thing always comes from within. One should use information and logic as a drunkard would use a lamp post, only for support, not for illumination. Generally, the smartest people on the planet, those people who think they are really smart, tend to have the most horrible relationships. When most people say, life, they mean the accessories of life, their work, their family, their relationships, the homes they live in, the cars they drive, the clothes they wear, or the gods they pray to. Only if you know to what extent your logic should go and where it should not go, your life will be beautiful. How the human system is happening, in the same way the universe has happened. In the same way that the micro is happening, that is how the macro has happened. If you look at the micro and perceive it, you will also know existence. There is only one calamity, ignorance. And there is only one solution, enlightenment. If your sadness is reminding you that you are incomplete, it is good. Make use of your sadness to grow. When sadness sets in, if you become more compassionate, more caring, and more loving, you have some sense in you. Don't think of this as your first step or last step. Just be here as a piece of life. That is the best way to be. You are not a young man, you are not an old man. You are just a piece of life. You cannot choose a guru. Deepen your longing and the guru will choose you. That which knows how to bend will not break. Bullshit may get you to the top, but it never lets you stay there. The whole art of being a guru is just this, to constantly puncture people's egos and still manage to remain their friend. Every opinion you have about anything can be a limiting identity. Once your intellect gets identified with something, it gets chained to the identifications, and leaves you with a completely distorted experience of the world. If you want God as a tranquilizer, it is okay as an idea, but if you want the divine to be an awakening process in your life, an idea is not good enough. They have been promising us for a long time, in every culture, that they are going to take us to heaven. They promise heaven because they are making a hell out of this place. We are the most comfortable generation to have ever lived on this planet. 
The rub is that we are definitely not the most joyful, or the most loving, or the most peaceful. Why? Believing means you have assumed something that you do not know, seeking means you have realized that you do not know. Life should touch you, even if life smothers you, it's better than remaining untouched by life. A human is not a being, he is a becoming. He is an ongoing process, nothing is fixed. I want you to understand, however big one is in the world, tomorrow morning if I fall dead or you fall dead, the world will go on just fine, maybe better, without us. If you tell yourself you don't want to think a certain thought, that is precisely the first thing your mind will produce. That is the nature of the human mind.